Hi, this is Rufus Deutscher. One of my favorite illustrator tricks is to play around with brushes and the appearance panel. Let me show you. Let's use the brush tool here and over here in the, uh, in the panels I'm gonna choose a brush from my brushes panel. Let's choose this one for example and simply draw a brush stroke here over on my artboard. Now I will select that brush stroke, close the brushes panel, open the appearance panel and under the effects that I can apply here, I will choose Distort and Transform, Transform. And then I'll choose to have maybe 10 copies of that shape and preview those transformations, of course. And then simply go here in the Rotate uh, area of the Transform effects. And by using my up and down arrow keys, I can now change the angle of the rotation. And by keeping it to the center point here, as my reference point, the rotation will go around the center of that shape. So let's do that. And whoa, I have like this cool fan kind of effect that applies to all of these shapes. And then if I want to go even wilder, I can scale the effect or move the effect as well. So let's say that maybe I want something a little bit more irregular. So what I would do is simply change the horizontal scaling of that effect. Therefore, maybe Let's go down here, changing the percentage of the uh, transformation, the horizontal uh, transformation of that scale, so that I get this irregular shape. Once I'm done with this, I will say OK, close the Appearance panel, and under Object, I will simply say Expand Appearance to get access to all of the vectors that are part of this image now. And then, under Window, I will go to um, uh, where is it? Pathfinder, and unite all these objects together so that they, uh, so that I can color them as one. Let's unite them, and then in my swatches panel, I can then choose any color for that object, or even maybe a gradient. So let's choose maybe the green gradient, and see what we have here. A pretty cool graphic that I can use as a backdrop on my web pages or on on my print documents. So basically what I did is simply use a brush stroke on that artboard, modified it, transformed it with the uh, appearance panel, and then colored it like this. Pretty cool, huh?